Got a photo. All right, just doing a little bit of an update again. And, uh, didn't get too much done. Just put a bit more timber up in there. Finish that off. I believe the nail gun broke again. I didn't break the the belt in that's frayed and it keeps wrapping up strings around the pulley thing. Oh, I have to source out a new belt if I can. There, it's an old discontinued model though, so I doubt I'll have any luck. Um, just a bit more in there. Um, so I carried on building my uh, antique style kitchen bench out of cedar, which come up pretty nice really. Hang it off the tip. So now I just gotta wait for um, I've got the resin, it's called doming resin, just if, if anybody wants to know. It's that stuff you um it's a two-part epoxy resin, it's called doming resin. Um, it dries perfectly clear like glass, um, and it's quite hard, so two part, one's the resin, one's the um uh, like a base. And the other one is a hardener so that'll be perfectly clear but for this one because we've got this big cut through here uh, crack sorry which it's still quite um, solid it's not moving at all but eventually it will probably crack off if I don't treat it and uh, that's my old brass basin yeah, it's an old I think they're using it for possibly cooking or washing maybe I'm not too sure I had a steel handle over it uh, that there I'm gonna keep that because it's nice antique steel but that was originally on there like that um, I seemed on trade and I thought yeah I like that straight away had this concept pop up in my brain because uh, I do like you know I'm a metal detector so I do like old stuff and old looking stuff especially if I can uh, repurpose stuff and build it myself um, so yeah, I've cut the, the back of the slab off, got that nice and straight, nice and dressed up, no splinters. Um, just waiting for the black additive colouring for the resin. And I'll come on and I'll dress these out a little bit. And that's going to be filled up flush with the table, sanded down and polished. And it's going to be shiny jet black all the way through there, so it's going to look like a black lightning streak, um, but perfectly flush. Um, and these gaps here, I'll probably do a little bit here because my bloody jigsaw managed to chip that bit. So I'll chuck a little bit in there. Um, I might just dome it out and put some tape in there, form it up, and then chuck a bit of black in there as well. Um, same with all these little bits, I'll smear a bit in there, and there'll be some nice little you know, black detail through there. And then just cover the whole lot of it and around that. Um, uh, with the clear stuff I'm gonna go buy another couple bottles of it just to be safe I think that little bottle is meant to be able to cover that um, go on by the manufacturer guidelines but I'll get some more anyway so yeah I'm just gonna I'm not gonna sand this I want to keep this this contour but I do want to get this dry stuff off so I'm just gonna use uh, steel wool I'm just going to rub that back. Actually, I rubbed a little bit back here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But, um, changed the colour quite a bit. Brought out that yellow and pink colour. That's got a nice, lovely pattern to it. All the way along in there. And then it twists out. Comes out like that. So that's my kitchen anyway. Yeah, we just got this all done. remove chopping board to match we'll have a double hob on here um, we do have I've been testing stuff off of Wish um, I normally don't like Chinese stuff but in this case it's worth it because it's all the same stuff you get off Trade Me it's very, exactly the same this one's on Trade Me I got this for $15 just because it's got that um, it's the closest thing I could find to brass I'm going to Biff that out and find a bit of old metal detecting brass to make the tap. But that's just a little battery operated water pump. So I want this caravan to be, you know, sort of uh, eco friendly, I guess you could say. Um, 
as a resell point too so I haven't rewired it I've stripped all the wiring out of it and all I'm gonna have is coming through here coming down to the kitchen here uh, just one 240 power source coming down to a little power box here somewhere because our bedroom will be over there and then if we need be when we park up at camping grounds and stuff like that we can just run a you know extension lead and power the whatever we might need to power and whatnot but we are going to have a generator everything else is going to be rechargeable batteries powered by this uh, this works quite well it's a small one oops my coffee mugs um, just a small solar power runs 12 volt type stuff stay on there you bugger and a uh, forget what sort of battery it is, gel, something like that. Sealed gel battery. So that's been in here for a couple or a few months now. And it hasn't dropped in power at all, and I charge my phone and whatnot while I'm working in here. Um, yeah, so that's it so far. Um, I'll get back to you when I fix my nail gun again. And have this installed. That's going to go underneath. It might make a little box around it. Water hose just goes into water water drum, comes in here, out there. So that's it so far.